COVID money stolen and wasted. So where did it go? CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts is diving into the numbers. Yeah, it's no secret that California had the largest reported pandemic related fraud of any state. More than 20 billion in unemployment money stolen alone. But now the AP is analyzing just how much money we, the taxpayers, lost nationwide across all pandemic programs. The AP's analysis finds most of the fraud happened during the first nine months of the pandemic as the feds rushed to get money out amid record unemployment, largely distributed through state unemployment agencies like California's EDD, which were understaffed, underfunded, and often using antiquated computer systems. Since the start of the pandemic, the U.S. government has allocated over $5 trillion in aid. And the Associated Press found $280 billion may have been stolen, with another $123 billion going to people who didn't qualify, costing you, the taxpayer, more than $400 billion. And again, that's billion with a B. They also note that's just the fraud we know about so far. The U.S. government has charged more than 2,230 defendants with pandemic-related fraud crimes, and they still have thousands of ongoing investigations. But Congress has not yet passed pending legislation that would extend the statute of limitations to go after those crimes. If they don't, that money could be lost forever. So who's to blame for all the fraud? Well, that depends on who you ask. Now, critics in this report point to the government's failure, at least early on, to use the Do Not Pay Treasury Department database. It's designed to keep government money from going to fugitives, felons, or other people who are convicted of fraud. They say that could have quickly and effectively prevented a lot of this fraud.